I have the ANOVA 3360 thermal imager, and I'm gonna tell you all about the features, and by the end of the video, you're gonna figure out if this is worth it for you. You can use this thermal imager to detect various hot spots or cold spots in rooms that make sense. So for me, this is a utility room, so I'm kind of determining where all the hot spots are, where you can see, and then you can see some of the cold spots as well. This is really helpful to use for windows and doors to determine if you need to update your weather stripping. You could also use this on the ceiling to detect anything like a water leak or unexpected cold or warm spots. The interface for everything is pretty straightforward and I'm gonna walk through how to use it and then some of the menu configurations and then other things that you might wanna know. What you do is you turn it on and then it's basically ready to go. On the screen here, you have a hot spot and a cold spot on the bottom here and it'll automatically highlight based on where you're pointing it. And this center crosshair is what you're gonna see reference in this top number here. When you go into the menu, you can change a couple things. So you can update the EMS, which is basically what surface you're pointing this to. If you're finding that the like range of temperatures is not right, you can kind of mess with this value. The default 95%, I think is what I would set it to. And then you also can change the unit from Fahrenheit and Celsius. You can update some of the limit values. You can update the color table. And the color table is what I have set to RGB, but you can also update it to iron red or various different things of gray. And then you also can change the date. From the outside, you can see that there's this port and this is gonna be your micro USB where you can pull images off of and you can take images by pulling on this trigger. So if you wanna reference an image later or save it or send it to somebody, you can pull images off of this. This is powered by three AAA batteries and it comes in this neat little pack. This does have a quarter inch thread for a tripod. So if you wanna have this stationary, you can do that. The 32 by 32 pixel resolution is what you can expect for the resolution of the temperature that's being represented to you. You can see these like big blocks that are dancing around. And I did find that it's going to be more effective to like bring the temperature sensor up to an uh, area closer. If you're going to shoot far away, you're going to see the obvious. So if you have a draft on the door, you're going to see that. But if you're really looking to see like differences between temperatures, I would move this closer and you're going to get a really good representation of the temperature range within that closer spot. As you press these buttons up or down, the like overlay of the temperature range is gonna be more intense or less intense. This is useful if you don't have a good idea of where you're pointing the thermal imaging camera, like if it's uh, too bright or too dark or whatever, you can kind of mess around with this to sort of uh, get a clear picture of exactly what you're looking at. Anyway, I hope you found this review of the ANOVA 3360 helpful. If you have any questions about it or wanna see any follow-up videos about any of the features, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.